during this COVID-19 crisis that is pandemic, it is important for everyone to maintain hand hygiene, respiratory hygiene and the personal hygiene, mainly to prevent infected by this virus. So this is okay, but what if you are already infected by the virus? Your immune system of your body should fight against this virus. For this, you need to have a very good immune system. So if you don't have a proper immune system or if you want to improve the immune status of your body, it is very important to maintain the proper diet to boost your immune system. So that's why. So today in this video, I'm going to explain about what are the foods. They are the nutrients to supercharge your immune system. Certain foods may be helpful for boosting the immune system of your body and preventing colds and the flu. Here, let us concentrate on five types of nutrients, which are very important nutrients that your immune system needs to perform and which foods to find them in. Now, let us talk about the first one, which is called as the vitamin C. So vitamin C is a very essential nutrient which acts as an antioxidant. So what are these antioxidants? Antioxidants helps to fight free radicals. Free radicals are nothing but a type of unstable molecules known to damage the immune system of our body. So we need to have this ascorbic acid. So there is some evidence that the vitamin C may be particularly helpful in boosting the immune system of people under major stress. So to increase the vitamin C intake, you have to add certain foods in the diet, especially the citrus fruits and juices, such as orange and grapefruit. Other fruits which are rich in vitamin C or kiwi, red and green peppers, broccoli and strawberries. So these are the foods or we can say the fruits, what you can find the rich of vitamin C. Second important one is the vitamin E. Same like vitamin C, vitamin E is also a powerful antioxidant. And the research suggests that maintaining ample levels of vitamin E is extremely crucial for maintaining a healthy immune system of our body, especially among the older people. So to get your fill of vitamin E, look at these foods, what you can see on the screen. Wheat germ oil, almonds, sunflower seeds, hazelnuts and peanut butter. These are the good sources of vitamin E. Next important mineral is the zinc. Zinc is an essential mineral involved in the production of uh, certain immune cells. The National Institute of Health cautioned that even very mild levels of zinc deficiency can impair our immune system. So let us concentrate on what are the top foods which are rich sources of the zinc. The important foods are oysters, baked beans, cashews and chickpeas. These are the important sources of the mineral called as zinc. Next is about carotenoids. So carotenoids are the another type of antioxidant. And these carotenoids are a class of pigments that are found naturally in number of plants and when you consume these carotenoids which these carotenoids are converted into vitamin A in our body which is a nutrition that helps to regulate the immune system and the carotenoids are better absorbed when cooked or eaten with the fat. So what are the foods which contain high levels of these carotenoids? The important ones are the carrots apricots, papaya, mango, sweet potato, spinach and collard greens. All these are the rich sources of vitamin A. Next one is the omega-3 fatty acids. So these omega-3 fatty acids are the type of essential fatty acid known to suppress inflammation and keep the immune system in check. Although it is not known whether this omega-3 fatty acids can help to fight off infections such as common cold, research suggests 
that the omega-3 fatty acids can protect against autoimmune disorders like Crohn's or ulcerative colitis and rheumatoid arthritis. So you have to try these omega-3 fatty acids which are rich in these foods like oily fish, walnuts or chia seeds. These are the important source of this compound. So now taking supplements to boost your immune system is very important at this time. So what about these supplements here? Although the supplements containing high doses of antioxidants and other nutrients found in whole foods are often touted in natural immune system boosters, some researchers indicate that the taking dietary supplements may have limited benefits for the immune system. And additionally, these nutrients are better obtained from the foods than supplements. If you are still considering taking these supplements, no problem, it's a good idea to consult your healthcare provider first to weigh the pros and cons. After that only you can take the supplements because sometimes overconsumption of these commercially available supplements can also deteriorate your health. That's why you always concentrate on the natural foods rather than supplements until or unless if your physician recommends you to use. Thank you.